How is Mrs. Ferrers? My mother is always in excellent health, thank you. My brother Robert is in town with her this season and quite the most popular bachelor in London. He has his own barouche. You have two brothers, have you not? Indeed, yes. Edward is the elder. Mama quite depends upon him. He's travelling up from Plymouth shortly and will break his journey here. If that is agreeable to you, of course. My dear John, this is your home now. Fanny wishes to know where the key to the silver cabinet is kept. Betsy has it, I think. What does Fanny want with the silver? One can only presume she wants to count it. What are you doing? Presents for the servants. Have you seen Margaret, by the way? I'm worried about her. She's taken to hiding in the oddest places. A fortunate girl. At least she can escape, Fanny, which is more than any of us is able. You do your best. You've not said a word to her for a week. I have. I've said yes and no. the silver. Was it all genuine? Pray, when may we expect the pleasure of your brother's company? Edward is due tomorrow. Oh, and my dear Mrs Dashwood, in view of the fact that he will not be with us for long, I wonder if Miss Margaret will be prepared to give up her room for him. The view is quite incomparable from her windows, and I should so much like Edward to see Norland at its best. Mrs. Dashwood, Miss Dashwood, Miss Marianne, my brother, Edward Ferrers. Do, Do sit, sit down. down. But where is Miss Margaret? I declare, Mrs. Dashwood, I'm beginning to doubt of her existence. She must run positively wild. Pray forgive us, Mr. Ferrers. My youngest is not to be found this morning. She's a little shy of strangers at present. Well, naturally. I'm shy of strangers myself, and uh, I have nothing like her excuse. How do you like your view, Mr. Ferris? Very much. Your stables are very handsome and beautifully kept, Mrs. Dashwood. Stables? Edward, your windows overlook the lake. An, an, an oversight, Fanny, had led me to one of the family rooms, but I've rectified the situation and am very happily installed in the, in the guest quarter. They're all exceedingly spoilt, I find. Miss Margaret spends all her time up trees and under furniture. And I've barely had a civil word from Mary Ann. My dear Fanny, they, they've just lost their father. Their lives will never be the same again. That is no excuse. Library. These are mostly foreign. Indeed. Magnificent. I never like the smell of books. Oh. No, but it is, it is the dust, perhaps. I hear you have uh, great plans for the walnut grove. Oh, yes. I shall have it knocked down to make way for a Grecian temple. Oh, that does sound extremely interesting. Would you show me the site? Too expensive. And we do not need four bedrooms. We can share. This one, then. Marianne, we have only 500 pounds a year. I will send out more inquiries today. Pardon my intrusion, but um, I think I may have found uh, what you were looking for. Won't 
you come out, dearest? We haven't seen you all day. And later, of course, we shall have to enlarge it. Oh, and Maddox will help you adjust to our hour. There's nobody can hear you. Oh, Miss Dashwood. Uh, forgive me. Uh, do you, by any chance, have such a thing as a reliable atlas? I believe so. Excellent. I uh, wish to check the position of the Nile. My sister tells me it is in South America. Oh. No. No. Um, she's quite wrong. Um, for I believe it is in Belgium. Belgium? Well, surely not. I, I think you must be thinking of the Volga. Of course, the Volga, which, as you know, starts in... Vladivostok and ends in... Wimbledon. Precisely, where the coffee beans come from. Ah, oh, the source of the Nile is in Abyssinia. Is it? Oh, interesting. How do you do? Edward Ferris. Margaret Dashwood. Delighted to make your acquaintance. It immediately adjoins this property. Quite so. It cannot be but the most desirable addition. I will ride there tomorrow uh, and speak to, uh, who, who is it? Gibson. Gibson. He will be pleased enough to see us, I have no doubt. We are certainly out for more than three words. Do not be too eager. No, no, I do not quite right. We will not be glad to leave it to somebody else. I'll ride there tomorrow and ask around. No, you can't. You may be quite sure that you will have no way back to the After all, there will be few on our watch list. It is just possible you may get some assistance from your mother. Oh. 